Okay everyone, this is today's project. It's an old scroll saw. I've had it probably 15 years or more. The other day I repaired the, the hose here. I put one of these on. This had snapped off. I re-drilled it. I put myself a hose to blow the rubbish away from the saw. Uh, the only thing about this particular one, this, this uh, scroll saw, is it only takes pin blades. I don't know if you can see that on there. Uh, in here. It only takes pin blades. I want to use unpinned spiral blades, okay? That's what I want to use. So I'm going to try and modify this saw. Now, there is kits out there that cost roughly about £30, but I don't want to use one of those. Um, I'm going to try and modify it. There's another pin under there. Look where it fits, if you can see that. Okay, so I took a couple of photos and we'll crack on. Okay, so first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove this guard. Uh, around this side here is an hand screw. So I can just unscrew off the end of the nut there. This should be... There you go. We'll push, push that pin out like that and we'll take that guard off. Eventually. Come on. There you go. Take that guard off, put it over there for now along with the parts that came off of it. So this is the piece we're going to be replacing. Um, I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Let me see that. There. See, this is where the the pin blade fits in. But like I say, I want to use something else. So this is the piece we're going to re replace, or try to replace. I have got something now. I don't know if this is going to work, so bear with me. If you're watching this live, so to speak. I've got hold of one of these. Now this slot, if you can see that, will take a pin blade in the slot there or an unpinned blade in the middle. So that would work on both accounts if I can get it to fit. So I'll just pause the video for a sec and uh, I'll come back to you when I've got the tools I need. Okay, so you're back with me. Right. Let's see if we've got the... Excuse me, because I'm trying to move lights about. I'm trying to make this so you, you guys can see it. Uh, and me as well. it help if I can see what I'm doing, obviously. Um, right, so what we'll do first is we'll take the blade out. Should just slot out of here. I think it's already slackened off. It should just pop its set out. It's only a pin blade. There you go, look. There's your pin blade. And I'll take it out the bottom. So there's the blade out. There's the blade out now, look. I'll just put that to one side for now. That's a pin blade. Buy a pin blade. Or anybody who doesn't know, look. Uh, hopefully this will focus. There's actually a small pin on the blade there, look. The ones I want to use don't have that and they're not capable of getting the blades with that on. Okay, so all I've got here, I'll zoom out a little bit for you. I've got uh, my Allen keys. I'm going to take this off here, the top one off first. And we'll see what we've got. I'll see what we're dealing with. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do a modification here. I hope. It would be great if I could. Uh, it's only a single speed scroll saw this. It, it, like I say, it's very old. Uh, the parts I've bought are not designed for this scroll saw. If I hadn't already said that. So we'll just take the hour there. Is that solid? Or is that? That's a solid, I think. Put that down there. And we're left with this. Now, in theory, we could, I guess, put that into there like that. And get the screw thread going in there like so. Uh, I would probably use a bit of a locking compound on this if it works, personally, uh, on the thread. Uh, that would stop it from vibrating loose. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know how, if this will work even. Um, but at the minute, it's going in. It won't be perfectly central. That's the only problem I seem to have with this that I can see at the moment. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll nip it up. Like that. Not too tight. Well, it's in. It's in. Um, and we'll do the same on the bottom. I'll just... Uh, 
change the camera angle for you guys so you can see the bottom when I do it okay so we actually want to be inside here so we're going to have to take this panel off I'm pretty sure about that uh, we're going to have to take that full panel off I do have a screwdriver somewhere here so if we take this panel off it might make it a bit easier for us like I say I've never I'm doing this sort of live for you guys to see so I don't know what we're going to come across and uh, I'll just take it apart and we'll see what happens hopefully all this just comes off I'm hoping you I can actually see what I'm doing because I've set the camera up on a tripod for you but there we, there we go look. there we go yeah well I got that off down to the deck you can see it hasn't been cleaned for eons if ever um, so now we've got this one to undo in here a lot that's what we'll be undoing next that one there this is going to be more difficult because I can already see we ain't going to get this in so I'm going to have to find another allen key this won't work for the bottom unless of course there's another way in which I don't think there is no there isn't okay I've got to go find another allen key back in a minute okay took me absolutely ages to find an allen key I'm so used to using them ones on the blue thing so all I've managed to find is this it's one for building furniture some of this furniture you get get some um, but I've looked everywhere do I have allen keys well obviously not just that set I used all the time on everything usually they work fine but obviously on this situation they're a little bit uh, a little bit locked in and they can't be moved they're too big so here we go here we go look let's take this off there you go so that's the bottom piece off we'll take that, that out and we'll use that uh, that screw bolt nut whatever it is what am I mean about this bolt again okay onwards okay so this is the one that'll go on the bottom it's the one on the top is fitted that way around the one on the bottom wants to be fitted that way around okay right use the bolt we took out pop it in there find it's fitting all if we can possibly do that okay guys I hope we got most of that because my uh, battery and my camera decided to go flat so what we've done we've put this one onto the bottom I was just tightening it up and then the camera decided to shut itself down okay so we'll just nip it up that's not very good that end it's been worn out could do with some proper Allen keys there you go I can't ask for anything else the missus will uh, not be happy <laughs> okay okay so that's in tight right so we've got the top one in tight here and if you can see the top one from this angle you probably can't you can't okay the top one in the bottom one in I'll change the camera angle and then we'll see if a blade fits back in it so where's the blade we took out earlier now I'm no expert on scroll saws right um, so I'll probably get saying I put the blade in the wrong way but I'm putting the blade in that way uh, we'll see if it actually fits and if it causes any problems so I'll just slot it into the bottom one there which it's gone in nicely and slot into the top one there which looks good at the back of my saw is a tensioner which I'll just tension up and see what we've got going on Is that tight enough? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so it's in. Should we run it and see if it stays in? I might check my desk to pieces though. This could be a bit silly, this. We'll have a quick go. Plug it in. 
There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, and I'll just flick it on quickly if we can find the switch, which is around here somewhere. Where are your switch? Are you there, lot? You ready? That seems good to me. That's where well, it stayed in, and it didn't. So that's with a pin blade, which is useful because I can use both. Okay, so I've cleared a bit of rubbish out of the bottom there. Um, we'll see how it goes. I haven't put any lock, thread lock on it. We'll see how it goes because I don't think the other had thread lock on, but we'll see. Um, just checking everything's tight. I've loosened the blade back off, by the way, guys. Uh, so the blade is back to being loose now loose position we put the side back on it so basically all we're doing now is we're reversing what we did well there it is there's the uh, pinless blade we'll uh, I'll put this one by side so you can see the size difference this is a this this blade can be used in all different directions. It's 360 spiral, right? I'm going to just click it on. I know there's no guard on it. This is just to see if she works all right. So just bear with me here. Let's just get around there and get to the uh, switch. Are you ready? Well, she never snapped. So I'll loosen that off. Don't leave, don't leave your blades in a in a tight position. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll just put the guard back on, and then they're all done here. Well, it works, guys. There you go. Happy days.